welcome to episode number two of fun this is tropical igloo and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a new game which i uh, just made a screenshot but oh well so we are going to be doing some park or games so what you do is you jump along i i can't do it because i'm bad at parkour obviously so as you can see i do that though that, that's cheating um so let's see how this works we've got a simple clock as explained in the last video and then each one of these is set to a different amount of ticks so you have for instance this one here here this is set to no ticks this here is set to one tick should be set to one tick anyway this one here set to two ticks this one here set to three ticks four five you, you get the idea so we're going to have a try of building this in our world. So, we're going to. I've already marked off what I'm going to take out. So, I'm just going to take it out. So, we'll have this here. Don't worry about the pressure plates. If you are an Xbox, you don't have to do these. I mean, trust me, you don't have to. But, and they're not hard. I mean, just all of them say that. So, I'll explain them in the end. So, what you have to do is you have to. You have to put a sticky piston there, sticky piston there. We'll just continue. So put a block there, block there, piston. And then we'll just put our blocks in where the um where the blocks are gonna pop out. Like pop 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 like that sort of thing. Uh right, so what we'll do is we'll come back here, we'll place a long row of these, we'll put a repeater on each of these here. We'll set this to none, we'll set this to one, we'll set this to two, we'll set this to three, and you get the idea. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go along here and place along quite a lot of um, cool stuff. Uh, that just didn't make sense, but okay. So we're just going to put redstone along this bit here, and you can see here. That's where our repeat is going to go, set that to one tick, and then set that to two ticks. So, this should, me, this should probably work. Trust me, I'm saying probably. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. So, this is hopefully going to work. So now we've got all the pistons popping out. So, what we'll do now is we'll come down here i'm just going to make it as compact as i can so you don't see like an ugly thing and i'm gonna make a three by three grid and this is what's gonna have on our um oh, I hate when the rain comes and snow and rain so this is where we're gonna have our um circuit which is going to be going round at quite a slow pace so we can get a nice pace out of it I suppose so we'll just set all of these to the most ticks they can be on like that one last one to do cool so now what we can do is we're going to place redstone here and then we're going to place Torch, if I just don't have one, I can get one. Torch here. Hopefully we could just place one of these. There we go. And yeah, that, that's what they're for. You see, what happens is, these pressure plates, these have all got command blocks underneath them. You don't have to worry about them if you are in Xbox edition. But if not, it is a nice addition to add to it. I mean, they, what you do is you would have your um, player going along and then if you fall on the pressure plate, you die. Simple as that. So it's really cool. Um, so command that in here is kill at p so this just means that it's going to target the nearest player to kill so if you are working on this so happy halloween guys this has been tropic 
and I'm over. See you there.